Let me see. It should 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 go up on pretty quickly. Uh, yep, it's on. Oh my god, a new stream. Uh, yep, That's oh quickly. my god, a new stream. Uh, yep, That's oh quickly. my god, a new stream. Uh, yep, it's that... Okay, it's looping itself already. Okay, I muted it, so it should be fine. Alright, so I think the opening credits for this game are insane, by the way. I'm not sure if it's. No, I, I'm not sure if I can show it uh, if OBS will pick it up. I, I can give it a shot. Wait, let me see if I can catch it on the stream for all our. I have no idea how many viewers. Uh, viewers. currently zero. All or zero viewers. <laughs> I don't care. I All our zero screen. viewers. It should grab it, I think. I mean, oh, now we're at eight. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, it's not grabbing it. That's so unfortunate. It's so good. Oh, no, it can't. <laughs> oh, it actually <laughs> Magical. Wow. Yes. That's that actually is finger licking good. Okay, I can hear you again. That's amazing. Nice. Let me turn it up a little bit. Alright. So I think we're just gonna start a new game. Oh, what's our name? Shall we uh oh, okay. it's always full caps? We'll be so be chong. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, do you wanna watch with the stream or should I uh share my screen with you? Uh it doesn't matter. Okay, Either I, way. I can share my screen. Okay. Got that re real life view. I get the real stream. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm, I wonder if I will just read everything. Yeah, I probably should, right? You sleep softly. It's the morning sun. Cast a warm mind. It's gonna take for fucking ever. Look through the window if you're smallest student apartment. I looked it up. It takes around two hours to complete. So if we speed run it, it might be fine. The world's peace. Okay. Is free. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. My first day of cute culinary school. Culinary. Culinary school is no time to sleep. Snapping the you left you to school <laughs> Oh you're already Double done with the game! Opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's done! Oh good stream. Alright, and end good stream. stream. It's over. Good stream. What, what happens if I just give up? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, money what? well spent. Okay, <laughs> I mean it was free, but oh my fucking god. Well, does it just play the fucking- Oh my god, it just- Okay. Well, that was amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would play again. Okay, maybe we, we will actually wake up. I'm currently playing sure Pokemon it's... Sleep. It's uh oh okay no mind. oh I can skip forward a little bit. Uh, let's, let's actually wake up then. Lying in yep. bed, you stare at the scene, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cookie School, Academy for the Learning. Well, that's a very elaborate name. You might begin to wonder. You need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to take it with thinking. Nah, we're serious. It's, it's important. We won't fuck up again, will we? We, we, no, we won't. We slept through the entirety of last year. Unlucky. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth equals brushed. Hair equals combed. Bits <laughs> equals deodorized. Already doing better than half of the smash completely, so that's pretty good. That's insane. Nothing can stop you now. You coughed at the rabbit biscuit, straight out the door and had to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did you, did you hear that eating? I did, I did hear. I hear I did hear the Minecraft sound effect. <laughs> this is what you needed. Oh my god, look at the delicious fucking biscuit. It's a delicious this? biscuit. Oh this is the menu. Standing at school quad, you gaze upon the magnificent university of cooking school and academy for her. I wonder how often they'll say that name. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's the high school friend that we'll definitely not pick. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Soggy Chan! <laughs> Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? 
Actually, I'm because oh my god, it's so extra. I sure I am. think you have to rename yourself Soggy Chan in the Discord now. <laughs> Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. Wow. What's the? I, we, we're not really having a conversation here. I think. It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself with well, and I ate it, and I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? We all wonder, wonder about that every now and then, you know. Raised by master chef parents, it's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from the quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you've been the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Wow, that's so nice of us. <laughs> we already have unlimited riz. So, well, unlimited riz. The, the school university. Of the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. <laughs> Famous three day only semester. Oh, that's how we slept for a bit. <laughs> Are afraid of being lev left behind and never catching up. The sweet girl Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped off into practicing on a medical. That sounds very intense. Do we want to gossip? Or is it? What, what are we feeling, Robin? Um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you don't know? Mm. Uh, let's go gossip. I'm a gossip. It's hard to You're gonna gossip? Like I'm frankly quite exhausting. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Rather than dwell on our anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at the school. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's you. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now what about this mystery student we read about in the school message board? Any new deeds? Uh -huh. Okay, now we're gossiping. Oh, get this, I heard his name is Harlan. And he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. <laughs> he's had them ever since he was born from an egg. Damn! Like a damn, like a chicken. Don't be ridiculous. But what's the thing about having powers? It would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard, like that he once fought a bear with just his smile. Looks like a wonderful person. Uh, he must be so beautiful. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for Harland. I think so too. Sai, thinking about students so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and Nah, wow, well, that's so... Spoons. Not your hey. spoons! It's A-Slay? A-Slay? <laughs> <laughs> ace, ace, ace is, that, is that supposed to be Ashley, but just Ashley. written terribly? Oh yeah, I think so. Ashley! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Ashley! <laughs> Ashley! No, not Ashley! <laughs> She's totally evil. She can't help be helped but filled with jealousy. She can get everything she wants if she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken shins. Wow. You don't leave Soggy Chan's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Yeah. Wow. Immediately running into my. Is that. Does she have chicken, chicken cutouts yeah. in her? <laughs> yeah, she does. She does. <laughs> Can't stand Ashley. I uh, already get a, getting a seizure from saying his name. Even her name is annoying. It's <laughs> <You know laughs> the I told you. Oh yeah, you, you know for a fact it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. True. True. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. I cost the cost, you see. Ashley is best friends. Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> that is a name. <laughs> Out of all names, it truly is a name. <laughs> I stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working on his glutes while, his while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Hot damn. Ahem. Van Van? <laughs> oh my goodness. You rang rang? <laughs> <laughs> You know, he looks like a JoJo's character. <laughs> he does! <laughs> I've been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Fan Fan have been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. 
Calm down. He does look like a devious fella. That's true. Also, if he, he hangs out with Ashley, he has some uh, endurance. Yes. I can't believe that the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to att attend the students. Wow, that's kind of rude. Wow, what a dickhead. I know, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on, uh, as long as professors. Your amateurs could learn a lot, a lot from us. Damn, Van Van. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's not just there's just not no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Mia. See you later, losers. Holy oh, shit. Mia. What the hell? Shooting sprays. Who the fuck is this? This goofy uh, looking See, kid. Goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to him. Oh my god, they just fired. Bro just Oopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, that should do the trick. I love you. Oh no. Is it that kind of game? Uh oh. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? It must be one heck of a, che a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess it's just reading it upside down. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Soggy Chan, so. Are you going to make me hold this door all day? No. And, then, and with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of me. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. <laughs> I don't know, Miriam's kind of Miriam kinda suspicious. Yeah, that's kind of sussy. You both shrug your shoulder before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. All the students wander in and keeping themselves busy chit chatting. Oh my god! Holy oh shit! Oh my goodness! A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front class. <laughs> Adorable! Now, now, quiet down and sprinkles! Sprinkles is my favorite right now, Robin. Same. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in a culinary class? He's the professor. You must be sprinkles, sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS. Oh my goodness! Uh, what was the abbreviation again? Please I don't remember. Call me Professor. Do University <laughs> of like culinary school or something. Call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> 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 what a cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuisances of fine dining. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Wind begins I guess to rush around you and the swirl of cherry blossoms petals fills the air inside the class. It's magical. I guess if anyone would know, he would know. That's true. He is top dog. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window and then... Oh my god! Oh yes. Oh my god. He walks in. You're immediately swept up by the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's it, it's really him. He must have amnesia. <laughs> I forgot I was it. Okay. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Ah, it's the Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me <laughs> Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Oh my God. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sander walks down the aisle, aisle of desks. Suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and now and you're not entirely wrong. Uh. Actually, <laughs> and it's Oh no. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open the window back before Fawcett bits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Wow, we kinda fucking bullied. You two both know my name. You are in the same kindergarten class. And <laughs> what is this with all your weird insults? Okay, we clean up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Oh, that was the abbreviation. Oh, there we go. Okay, University of Cooking School. The greatest school. culinary academy in the world. <laughs> the 
birthplace of ordinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges uh, challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. Wow. And when all said is done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and complete the the broom cooking arena. Holy shit! It's gonna be a cooking tournament arc. Just then, another student entered the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! <laughs> Dan, sprinkles uh, snow chill. Play to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. Me IRL. <laughs> you know, Me IRL. <laughs> it's very. This is a very relatable dating sim I've heard. You're on the ah, interesting. Out of here, young man. Are you sure you're not even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? It's my third year in the school. With you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Oh my god, this is a side character. Does no one remember me? I'm. You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. We should ask KFC for plus. I I take some chicken. <laughs> Damn sprinkles ruling with an iron fist. Yep. Let that be a lesson to you, students. That tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see- wait, who's Clank? Who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What? <laughs> it's a fucking rope! Oh my goodness! The class burst into laughter. That's not very nice. That's Oh, horrendous. Clank, you rascal! <laughs> Sprinkles walks- that's it. That's all we will hear of Clank, I think. Unlucky. Sprinkle walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. What? Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Holy shit, we're getting fucking roasted. You've never had a talking dog as teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. We decided to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Shall we go for a chicken snack? It's Clearly a chicken snack. This guy now should be a chicken snack, right? Yeah. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Springle's eyes go wide as he looks onto it. His favorite? Oh, fucking smirk. See, I told you, I told you, I told well, you. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. <laughs> or we just straight up bribed him. Insta it, nice, let's go. Very professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they would have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all. Exactly. Time. Scrubs. True. Yeah, exactly. Ago. I just realized pie is on the board. <laughs> oh, that's pretty long. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's food. <laughs> Who's true! True! Who's in the picture? I don't know. Is it just a random classroom backdrop? Settle down, young chefs. Take seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. I don't think it's random because on the board there was a bucket of chicken. When he like does the standing thing, you can see it. <laughs> as everyone rushes, uh, we'll, we'll see. Bristol claims their favorite seats are left standing at the front of the room. Only two options. Ooh. Yeah, see, look. Oh my god, are we gonna completely skip Miriam? <laughs> yes! One and only? <laughs> no one has claimed a seat next to me if you're interested. Holy shit, how is his seat free? That's. How is his seat free? What it the must, hell? It must be divine intervention. Yeah, see it's divine see intervention. Ya, <laughs> see ya! It's the skip! <laughs> it's the easiest decision of my life. It appears he brought no books, no. No books, pens or pencils, however, his perfect upright posture shows of a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. He is the GOAT, after all. He is confident indeed the GOAT. Seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing. Uh, the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. It is. A little off topic as you asked me, but okay. <laughs> As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Fuck! <laughs> Yay, a quiz about me. <laughs> wow. 
This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharper, your focus sharper. Here comes question one. Is if a train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important it is to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Paul. <laughs> Call him out. Right. Fucking, bro, we roasted Pop for no reason. Forest is the tree as chicken is to a slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, wrong. What? No, it's feather. What is the most e efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork. No, he did say spork before, right? I think so. With a comically oversized one. Okay, we go for a spork. That's right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, I told you. You're I'm smurfing it. Oh, oh, it's reaching. Oh, no, we good. What food oh, is the go. best for a broken heart? Uh. Camel, <laughs> a pamphlet. I don't know. Looks like a silly face. I don't know. I want to say first or third. I'm not sure. Anything as long as a decrepit log and not too much salt. Not salt is fucking dirty. Let's go for the pancake. Ah shit. Unlucky. Is yes. A good guy? He's oh, he's the best boy. No, no, it's the middle one. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Three out of five. Ah, that's pretty good. It's not like. Bro what you mean? That's like. This like sixty percent. Yeah, that's, that's fucking shit. That's crap. <laughs> cool. We're in, we didn't impress the colonel. Uh oh. I may have your attention, students. I've important announcement to make. Time for lunch <laughs> already. <laughs> it's the nicest any restaurant you ever eat in. It makes sense that the school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wefts. Through the room, it tickles the end of your nose, your mouth waters. It's chicken. That must be your lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Oh, yeah, that's the guy. It's about lunch. No, I just wanted to apologize for my part tardiness. You see, I was. Howdy, folks. <laughs> I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> Poor student. But I. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, Shh. well, in honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Is it a bucket of chicken? Indeed, that's not, yeah, it has to be. Wait to see what the food is, mystery stu student. A mysterious student has created. You've heard he's, that he's very talented, but where the room is true. Is this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. He lifts a large bucket above his head. It's content glimmer in the light. We did it. Good ending. Pile high are huge, huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelopes you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs, herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance. That's a flavor. good. That's a good one. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I say about that. What you think we want your stupid recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, nah, my dude, nah. Van, van, van. It's going for violence. I'm just drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poisoned. Got it? Ah. He doesn't want the recipe. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick bird. He waits to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Wow. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Whoa! But she's Whoa! <laughs> oh, I forgot her sub goal overlay. Ah, no one is serving anyways, I call <laughs> Bro, she's going for our... Bro, she's taking our fucking boy away, Robin. What the hell? Yeah, no wonder she's our arch rival. The fucking... The bitch! You see her body language change from bitter to, and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sander. She realized that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like his. Like this. She wants it all to himself. 
to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, Fen Fen, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. <laughs> well, hold him. This is prime content. That is true, Akam. It's unfortunate that we only have four viewers, out of which probably three are you, me, and Robin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the stream is not doing too hot. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. Here, let's see. He starts controlling his face as he tries to hold his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please follow my, my fellow classmates. Dig in. You take one piece of fried chicken out of his bucket and you sink your teeth in it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, there's a black hole. <laughs> it transports oh us my to goodness. another dimension, Robin. I don't know, taste buds gripping in terms of your float, basically. Focus your mind. Gotta get the... We, we gotta get the middle option. We gotta get Colin. We gotta get yeah. Colonel Sanders. Really embody him. Your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alone with the flavors, you feel something only can be described as love for a man, for a flavor. Are they the same? <laughs> he is your desire. After tasting his food, you try to get some one on one time with Colonel Sanders. Here we go. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he, he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Well, damn, we're, we're damn uh, forward with this. Anything yeah. for a fellow chef. What exactly was on the chip? <gasps> How bold to, to come out and ask. Well, he has a chicken staff? Where the fuck did that what come from? What the hell? Ha <laughs> this guy has everything! It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret, in fact. I got, I got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. That, what's the rush? The semester's only getting started. Yeah, out of three days. You got two yeah. more whole days to get to know each other. Exactly. Clearly not going to give up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel Sanders? Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give, you, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Whoa. Oh God, we're so close. What? <laughs> it's just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... <laughs> it's it's, as, it's MSG. It's it has to be MSG. MSG. <laughs> wow. wow. You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in your huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sander has disappeared. What? Everyone else is still in the cafeteria. You decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the club. Oh, it's you again. How? Sometimes I feel like. To come outside and look at school building. I think about how my story will continue after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I'll leave my mark on this world, you can bet on that. Oh, it was, what? oh is it Ra alone? Nag him. <laughs> We're gonna go full in cell mode. <laughs> wow, wow, I made a big ID. I think Modus Patat was good. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you got his attention. Oh! The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory and peppery was perfect. I appreciate the compliments, Sorry, chan I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Wow. <laughs> should head back inside, the match lesson starts soon. Holy shit, holy shit, it's what the hell? Master Chef, yeah, exactly. The massive cooking arena where the afternoon lessons will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we will get to show our stuff. Wait a second, oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? It's a skill issue, Miriam. Exactly. I'm not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome students in the cooking area. <laughs> Fucking sprinkles. <laughs> For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and prepare well. Me next Yes! Time, unable to control your bounce. Yeah, let's fucking go! <laughs> She's so oh, no. <laughs> hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A 
team of two that is me and you, if that wasn't clear. I'm glad we got that cleared up. Wanna be my yeah. partner? Aww. Sir Soggy Chan, Baron of Station. Let's go! Sprinkle's gonna be Gordon Ramsay in a bit. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it will go. <laughs> Without you as a partner, me, it's like, <laughs> what are you? An idiot An idiot sandwich. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep boop. <laughs> oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I don't know who to choose. It's like you asked to pick for her. Friend duty can be a little awkward, but that price you pay for not being alone forever. I think we should give her the toaster. Yeah, I, I don't really like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Poppin. I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. Holy shit, we cut Pop so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're cutting it's him okay, so I hard. It's okay, I already ate. <laughs> That's not the time oh. clear any idea what the point of this event even is at this juncture. Clank is really ex <laughs> clearly excited to have some attention. He, be he heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Hold on, hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not eat not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Bzzz. <laughs> Tissue, I hardly know you. <laughs> oh my god. Clank jurors of that Clank got fucking race. What the fuck? <laughs> and panel shakes loose. You get the impression that it is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two, for today's lesson we're going to keep it simple. Pick a Brew, I come. dish and divide up the steps. Yeah, Clank. <laughs> Giga Chad Clank. Giga Chad Clank. <laughs> That's the second time an uh, inanimate mo object gets more bitches than me. <laughs> the first time was while I was watching the time I got Oh, so that's why it's machine. real. <laughs> what did you say, Robin? <laughs> and I said, oh, so that's why it's uh, real, because... <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's relatable. Yeah, it is. It's just like me for real, for real. No, but we got sanders, so it's fine. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest your partner? Alright, I have to go now. I might be back later. Have yeah, fun streaming this game. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with your meeting. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. It's not very boring. I don't really want to do tatar, but I also don't like the other options. Well, that's simple, right? Let's go for it. Oh, oh, he likes it. <laughs> I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes <gasps> and gravy. Oh my god, we're like, we're, we're just so vibing. Oh god. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sander gets a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking the perfect produce is a passion of mine. <laughs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sander? Holy shit, Ashley's calling us out. Just cook it, Paris. Mind your own business. Yes, fuck off, Ashley. As long as it's hard, it's my business. And you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me. <laughs> Holy shit, the music. Wait, let me. Since Robin is away. Ashley! <laughs> yeah, just fancy Ashley. <laughs> oh jeez, no jeez, Ben. Well, I'm over here crushing Soggy Chan's dream. You're supposed to be taking care of your classwork. What was the deal, remember? Colonel Sander returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. Yeah, the name is really annoying, but they also mentioned it in the in the game. <laughs> he tosses them into the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friend. Oh, howdy, Ashley and Van Van. Are we working in quarter instead of do it? Oh. Actually, no. It looked like Soviet Chan was struggling, so we ought to give him a hand. You know how it is, you young amateur chefs need a lot of men. I was going to say for this. Maybe I could teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha, doubt it. Oh, that's kind of weird. <gasps> Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubt where for that. Oh, whatsoever about Colonel Sanders. The music is so intense. 
After all, your fried chicken is quite spectacular. Who oh, no, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this game. The position itself is your station. Don't you feel deep down if you cast complementary shadow? You fit together. Like a fire and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She is coming for Go for Colin now. If you don't watch out. Ashley is going going to be it's really going at your heart. You need to ask for some packet things before things get open. Turn to Colonel. Nah, I think we're vibing with Colonel. I think we should be good. I'm here to express myself via my via my cuisine. Not bigger with Prima Donna. Holy shit, we're roasting her. Barbers were chosen at the beginning of the class, so let's respect that format. Okay. Turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm if you're on the same thing. I chose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chose me as that right? A business run respects all fairies. From contracts to contracts to handshakes. I took, I took on Soggy Challenge my partner for this activity and stand by it. Make sure your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Soggy Chan's natural talent or their loyalty. Holy shit. He's all over us. It's Jover, we already won. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute torches and their short but sturdy nature. You look down at the station and realize that in the of the moment your hands have been put on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy, ma creamy mesh texture with plenty of bitter and creamful flavor. As if your natural passion guides you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Center extends his hand, he's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which he pours a smooth brown gravy, smoldering your nearly famous potato dish. Oh my god! Gravy flows down to the mound of smashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds, on, holds a spork out to you, you reach out and grab a hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go, the two of you stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you lost something, set it free. Together, you dig to you. She's actually just standing there. She is absolutely rising out. Dig the utensil and dig to the mashed potatoes and lift the heaping spark full up. And you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's pulling against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling that poor sport full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something! Scooping up a finger for Van Van tasting dripping mashed potato and gravy, and realizing that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Sobi Chan. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. Do one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, face? Van Ram rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes, I'll prepare a full meal, gauge upon my speciality. Braised tentacle oct octopus in my silky saltwater sauce, placed on a pencil axe forged by my supreme chef ancestor. That sounds actually kind of lit. Uh, you've ignored me for too long, and that ends now. It is I who have the first bite, and you will look at all of it with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Fanman and swipes a bite of the signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about the dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed. It may have turned in the process, the result could be toxic. Too late if that's been eaten. I think I left something in the oven. Oh no, a student is dying. It killed him! <laughs> no, he actually died! Everyone step back, don't take another bite! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of tentacle being slurped into Pop's mouth. Pops wins his pain for just a moment, then almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. 
the entire class gathers to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd here, motion of the statues. Class bells rings, disrupting the moment and snapping and coming back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things despite obvious danger has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Damn, what a beast. I'm not sure if the professor here makes enough money. Uh, hello, it, I just turned into a ghost over here. <laughs> oh, shaken up by a student. Damn. Let me walk you home. That's n so nice of him. What for real, Okamon? We follow him out of the room. Night at the school takes another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. He stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made it in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know that they are not a great representation of my skills. I even didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them it reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Wow. Female Sandman is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell, tell him you've been developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, sorry, Jim. Something I need to tell you. <laughs> Fucking Van Van! <laughs> Hold it right there. That's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. See, when I was just a boy, I had a dream. Well, one day I would be the craziest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been working towards that dream day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also lifting lots of weights, like so many weights. We used to follow our dreams with our hearts, but to soul make rent on. Why are you crazy little machines <laughs> Hey, no, I, you, shut up, I don't want you to say inspirational stuff and be the star in the story. Are you getting that your cooking literally <laughs> killed the guy? <laughs> you can't prove that. Hmm. I think I'm pretty sure he died. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance here, a long, sad sigh. Forget him. You're talking about me. I'm the hero. <laughs> the Spark Monster is here to fight a hero. Oh my god. That was really disgusting. I think I left the fridge open later. No! How oh, dare you treated me just as I was letting down my guards and connecting with another chef on the emotional level. Be afraid, be very afraid because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is it just coincidence? Before you can discuss the syntax any further. Turn based fight sequence, what do we do? A slab in. This is take all you use. Oh my god. We cook with law. Cook with love does one damage. It's just got real. You have to take a really obsessed spot monster. It's not hot gravy. And we defend. It's like to defend. We just defend with you. Trepidation. <coughs> Focus their mesh mine and those energy from yeah. Oh shit. Can we defend now? Riff up. Energy into your arms, picking back and all the stirring you did in the kitchen as a child. And this is go super small and ready to take on anything. You to leave Denzel. It could take much more damage and not go into slow play. Oh no. Showdown. A powerful blow. Oh no, he's losing. Jeez. Rounded back. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. The energy of a thousand <laughs> chickens! Pop by power pinch! 10 damage! You saved me. Damn, Colonel Hans, as heroic as I thought. We spare him. I think we spare him. He managed to pen down your disgust of his body. He's long enough to resist. He's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, but you're mad. Be gone, beast. And don't you dare come back for a follow up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this. I certainly won't be, be back, like you said. <laughs> Spot monster school. It's a cookbook. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken. The last names I have signed out is Borko. Borko, that name sounds strange to me. Uh, the final attack left you completed the beat of hope because the fate of the yeah, edge your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Oh my god, we're in his apartment. 
He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy! You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. Feel covers being pulled up by sure. If you were tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. <laughs> Your dream should to get a bit colonel sanders for some reason. Sprinkles is also there. Who was Sprinkles again? Oh, that's the, the teacher instructing you. Law of dreams are weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Day two. You wake on day two. Something what? The first day is uh, over. It's probably just because he already oh, trusts you so much. So that makes sense, we'll go with that. Meet up with your bestie from the school. Before you can tell, uh, tell about the about this fog monsters, monsters she lost her story about. Okay, I know this might sound strange, but I think um, I might be, I think I might like Clank. Oh my god. Like, like, like him? Like, like? No, it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about it. I like it. Like? Oh shit, the romance already. It's coming. People talking after class and he's actually totally a sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, but that doesn't make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted as king at, king at the school he didn't even go to when he was. And that convertible that he himself wrote at the front of the homecoming parade. I think we maybe something got lost in the pressure cooker language translation here. <laughs> Either way, maybe it'd be best you took it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Colonel Sanders. You ain't Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cookie School Academy of Learning. You're a finger. You definitely connected with that. Ah, sure you did. You did great. But you wouldn't be into you, I guess. Laughing at the implications of people, you think it's definitely into it. You are great. We truly are a great chat. Well, if he's not into me. Why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your best is I was a secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in there? Name checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation, my family loved him in a fresh green botanical garden where I was gardening. This can't be good. He told me all about his special spices, secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me. The man, he said it. Uh, it was his powder created from super... Super duper rare bright flower petals, and if I did them a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So fill my su suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even died. He even met at the gate on our right. Oh, whoops, I can already click this. I think you were being very liberal with the medium of spices here. Whatever, anyhow. We both share an interest in cooking, so we stay in touch, you know? For example, I very would love to know more about these spices. Oh, I'm definitely not supposed to share. Colin will send a secret recipe, and besides, I only know one ingredient, so I doubt it would be much use. And cough, paper, cough. Please, please, please. I mean, it will do me. No one has to know that you came came from you or Colonel Sanders. No, I'm not gonna leak the Colonel's personal secret. I quickly think of a fake ingredient. I don't know, how about. It was Eye of Newt. I know, it sounds like some kind of lip potion. What can you do? I have Newt, wow. Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, and she figures satisfied with curiosity and she'll move on. Perhaps she immediately turns around, does some dumb typing on the phone, and can't quite see this probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she's definitely not texting secrets to all the people you're into. A wind rushes in, cherry blossom petals fill the air. <gasps> He's on the horse? It's arriving, it's a cool. I think we have, we just admire him. Where's Judy? <laughs> <laughs> Sending a brilliant free into the countryside. Oh my god, I come. It's beautiful. Look at those flower petals. You're so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry. He knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but you, the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beauty you have. I mean, a horse you have. Dang it. That's what I just said. <laughs> Being a good friend, Mirian attempts to cover for you. Oh, sorry, John. He just gets really nervous around people they like. What? This is not helping. I mean, they got food poisoning and <laughs> were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. She gives us a wink and smile, as if to say, situation handled. 
Can't blame a girl for crying. And with that colon, I'll send her this person to school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. It's day two. Oh, there's some chicken. Colin was right. I can see two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? Try to peek over Van Van's hulking shoulders. But he sees you coming. Wow, there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Ooh. Why don't you make a bee and mind, mind your own wise one? You sit there with rifles, but you leave your turn. Back turn on him. You can hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magical spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try to cover it with your tracks and improv improvise an extra fuse. Um, it's time for class, you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Now you've presented. Oh, you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the meals. I'm not sure if you know a good meal if, if it ate you. <laughs> Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills, it takes creativity, it takes panache. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Oh, that sounds very cool. They instantly recognize it. It's a book! Wait, how did they get it? It's the same book. Oh. Contents are secret. He knows that they haven't just been studying book that could pop into a wall and then tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. He's playing. Before he can dig any further, you're interrupted by Alpha with more students. It's almost time to class. Beep beep. Oh, that's clank. <laughs> clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls over Van Van's meaty foot. <gasps> hey, watch it, you bucket of balls. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. This is Womp. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. Womp Womp. <laughs> no, your mother was a stand mixer. Verbs. <laughs> Van Van jumps to attack Clang. But Clang shocks Van Van and he flies across the room. <laughs> Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazy men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. As she stone is completely changed in an instant, she bets her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely you must know this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourself. Still, it's safe for the arena at least. Or don't, honestly. What do I care? I've got lofty career <laughs> aspirations to focus on. Maybe I can help with your business plan. Just then Sprinkles arrives to the signal the true start of the class. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. I'm glad they reminded us. <laughs> students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning morning chasing a car all around town. And my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now. I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly, he loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles begins to control the classroom. We did kind of bribe him, so we should be in good. Reveal the global history of his favorite file, the chicken. Not to pay attention to the lesson you truly do. <laughs> Can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. May you come to Sprinkles holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, so we chat. Naturally, this appears to be a simple platter. Which item do you want to sample? The biscuit? No, that's for him. Let's get the pepper. Barley clover pepper. Oh no, it's too spicy. Oh, <laughs> he died. <laughs> oh no, the student is giving us a message. Must have item to his cuff cuff. I was saying to fulfill you, I must do is. Sorry, I think I got some spice stuck in my throat. It's final work through. To fulfill, poor student. The <laughs> pepper is the last of his kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Time for lunch. Oh yeah, it's competitive cook off. Holy shit. Okay, let's let's challenge them. <laughs> Every pepper. <laughs> it's a lunchtime competition. Brood fun fam fam. I like your gumption, so each end. I'll be watching your performance. Oh my god, the colonel is watching us. Pepper. 
At least not until we turn on the timer. <laughs> timer ready. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I stand corrected. I like how now it's just easy music, but like some time ago it was like it's intense music. Ashley, you had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him here again. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast, the time runs out, you'll be f forced to pick randomly. What temperature does water boil to? Oh my god, that's right, but how would you have ever gotten into school without knowing that? When it gets rid of my furry bed, that that enticing offer motivates you. To season the chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colin Sanders recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Well, we're seven, right? That's wrong. Oh, we're ten. Uh oh. So basic steps go and time to elevate your breath. What state of mind offers the most? Well, it's going so fast! Gratitude. Okay. Oh shit, we're, we're not gonna do this bolt. Never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on this fine intra energy of now. It would be a great time to harness the energy of That's right. This is your big shot. You're not going to miss it. It's going so fast. <laughs> ah, Try to shut up the noise of the arena. Focus on your cooking. What's the sound of success? Sizzling. But wrong! Don't make me get the spray bottle. Let's go and sell the item cards. I believe in you. Oh my god, he believes in you. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally get what you're doing. Oh, you <laughs> think of this. Think of this. Colonel Sanders. How many times was this? Get your mind back into the position. What a hunk. I know, right? What is the gratitude particular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? <laughs> the test is too hard to come! <laughs> woof woof, you're really struggling to keep up. The next station over, actually, yes, prepare to begin plating elements. Fuck! To make up time, you toss the biscuits into a stand mix and as you do the crowd gasp. Yikes! I know. You love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might have any hands with soy chan dolls, and a good set needs to be touching the dough to know it's properly mixed. You don't get far by too- Oh, we went for the easy way. It's over. It's fucking over. <laughs> soy chan, no! But you're not fast on your hands get stuck, it's really crushed by the quickly spinning beater. No way you'll able to <laughs> use the lamp for the rest of the match. I'm sorry, Colonel. What you often find is the easy way it can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone looks at what you're doing right now, this battle is over. It can't be all so close to Sweetheart, look at your hands, you simply can't go. No, it wouldn't be fair to compare it to an account. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you've prepared. Well, because what's the sweetest, skip straight to the dessert. All of this chocolate dome has a wide area of delight. Couldn't want Sam has got his back at least, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's called a re rescheduled deal, so. <laughs> Under the white chocolate dome, the wide array of delight. Taking your on the journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Soggy to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colin Sanders, if you mind letting me. Fuck, she's going for him! It's over. So Colin Sanders puts the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dough, causing it to melt away, revealing the secret ingredients hidden within. What? That's so try hard. Fried cheese croquette on top of a slice of honeycomb, ice cream, two ways, then on nougat and the quills, blueberry jelly. Bruh. Seems, he seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate mm. sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you, hee <laughs> hee. Ashley leans over and whimpers something as a, a dab of sauce sticks to his moustache. I, thi I think we should internalize it. 
Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they hurt burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash as they fall off your face. Which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. No, it's over! Embarrassed and ashamed by a poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run to the quad to be alone. Our life in this school is over. All oh, one and a half days. Beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you, storm rages. It's color of Sander. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are involved and have decided to get married. <laughs> and he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chap and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from devastating mold, but from the running with the mixer and the small fire. But we should get, ch get that checked out. <laughs> I'm fine, you can leave me alone. I'm a loser. I will feel you I will feel your fire. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed anything before? <laughs> That's exactly what I think. Well then think again. I wasn't the man to see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredible handsome, successfully successful, motivated. Well handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked all the paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I felt an obstetrician. It's, this novel uses some hard fucking words. Try not to get the boner while playing this game. I mean, at this point that ship has already sailed, but this is not the most thirsty Colonel Sanders uh, scene yet. I was passionate about justice, but I felt as a lawyer. A lawyer. What? You want to be a lawyer? I felt as a mule handler. Mules can be so cruel. <laughs> I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together. Which is true now, but it always hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then. I was. He also just whips out a staff out of his ass every now and then. No amount of hours, labor, and money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. <laughs> such a, such an admirable man. Changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and will make up for my past misdeeds. <laughs> Yay. Fuck off, Bob. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're answered by threatening shadowy presence. No, it's the... It's the spork monster! Porco. It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back after the whole fight with death thing. Maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but... I just want to say that I was wrong to attack you and apologize. I know that it's like having to always look over your shoulder. Monster problems, am I right? Ah, thanks, Porco. I'm glad there's no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up, you know. <laughs> also, want to apologize by the way I switched right into attack mode. I know you're strong, and cooking school can put a person on a lot of stress. I actually used to go to the school. I wasn't always a sport monster, you see. I do believe it. You were human once. Well, no, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student until one day, a mean kid with magic spellbook caused a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. Magic spellbook. Precisely, I produ pr procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef, and you shouldn't rely on dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who cheat through sorcery and quill. And you, you need. If you need me, don't fear, I'll be there. Damn, Sporko, so nice. <laughs> yeah, and indeed, the Spork origin story—it's coming together. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Sogi chan. Together I'm sure we can defeat him. Come back to the hideaway and we can discuss. <gasps> he invited us to his house? Oh my god. He's making a move, Chad. <laughs> Stepping inside Stan Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. This looks like you lived such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an offender of pressure to write edit. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's just a study. Hot damn. Have you ever been working on any new. Let's see how we are time wise, actually. Like, when the one do we have? Oh, we have more than enough time. Should be fine. 
I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been thinking with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure if I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. This ice breaks up. What dish are we describing? Exactly. Look at this, like this little fireplace. Got the random paintings and the urn <laughs> and the chicken. <laughs> It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps. Is it this baby phone? There's no way this is the same person. <laughs> is it a beard? I thought it was an open mouth. Oh, never mind. It's a beard. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Yo, it was this fabulous. Although a little chubbier. I think we should reveal. He gave us his secret ingredients, and now we give him his dish. Oh shit! No, we need, we need, we failed the cooking. We failed the cooking competition. We gotta do something before you can talk yourself out of it. You decide to dive in head first. You reach in your lunch lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on the ice all day. I present to you. My original coleslaw. <laughs> oh my god. It's beautiful. <laughs> we chow down the creamy slaw. Until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Yeah, I know there's a chicken. <laughs> he is the colonel. <laughs> of course there's chicken. Do you mind if I hold it to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Go to Nell's very big cock behind him. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? You think he'll secretly reverse engineer my special cause one? Make yourself cold to him, be just a moment. Ooh, you do some snoopy. He's. because it was so tasty! <laughs> Around the room, there are various items you could look at closer. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Devil knows this cover more about the cover. Let's do, do the baby first. <laughs> it's himself. Maybe drumstick that he's been waving like a rattle. Who frames a picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person would make their own face the logo of a company they found. <laughs> okay, we'll look at the chicken. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner of the table. When you pick it up, you realize it, it isn't just realistic, it's real. Taxidermy? Must be important. The coat on the center is when it was alive. A note chipped to the chicken's food reads The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. The cannon is like chicken, chicken scented. <laughs> I, I, I'd say that's pretty, pretty high chance. <laughs> Power tool. <laughs> it's a power tool. <laughs> Piece of wood floating away. Symbol of 69. No. Oh. It's the secret recipe ingredient. We, uh, we, we decided that it's MSG. <laughs> the door is open. What do you, what's like right next to it? Is it like a comb? Who cares about this thing? So he keeps the secret recipe. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the shapes open in such a funny single note. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Tap on the item discovery. Let's try this. Oh, a lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of a curve. <laughs> the silver in is actually made of spun silver. Oh, his hair is actually silver. Tap on an item disc okay. Um uh, let's do the urn. It's dusty when you wipe it off you can read the description it says Here lies the ashes of all my best careers and business filters. <laughs> I should I should have one of those in my home. <laughs> and let's do the camel. Oh my god, he's traveling. Except old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Huh? But how? Oh it is already. In Egypt, he discovered the flavors. 
One of the frame photos shows an old man. Looks a bit like Colonel Sanders, standing on a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks. Where? And appear to be cheering him? People used to eat mummies. <laughs> Please don't make an ur urn filled with old Zephyr memories. I think that's somewhere in the, in the what do you call it? Like the participation thing, like where you just say yes. Oh, in the in the statues, you just agree to having your ashes <laughs> be put in Ilse's urn. <laughs> but but like mummies are holy, right? But are they just being eaten? That sounds pretty pretty bad. My friend eats this. Oh my god, that's the ghost. Thinking of heading out in the. I never learned your name, why would I avenge you? I'll just tell you my name, it. Can you see in the middle or something? Ate them in the past. Yeah, no, I, I, I reckon that, but even when they were mummified, they. Mummy brow made from mummies. Yeah, but making a paint is a little different than just eating them. But isn't it like just rotten meat? Fucking British people. <laughs> oh, we let the student out. What is the door? Oh my god. It's a signature white clothes. That sounds disgusting. There's also the... Um, the dish where you, you eat like an entire bird, which is really fat in one bite. Uh, like it's drowned in brandy, I think. And you eat it under a napkin to uh, hide your thing from... Uh, <laughs> it's disgusting, because it's also the ribcage, like... Yeah, it's in France, but the ribcage also just... Uh, what do you call it? Like, it, it... It makes your mouth bleed, so your mouth matches with the uh, brandy. It's disgusting. Oh my god. We breathe in his <laughs> scent. This is what they mean. Oh, I tried to act casual. Why Aww. are you? I don't usually loan this up, I must say. It looks good on you. Oh, the jacket! Are we going? Let's make the big move. This isn't that kind of game. What? G game over! <laughs> Let me try again. What? What? Bro, I'm not gonna play through an entire fucking thing again. <laughs> no! Oh my god, I'm gonna skip through this, hold up. Well, I have to go through everything again? Because I made a move? That's a fucking scam. Holy shit. Okay, I don't think it's too far away, so... Let's, let's pick the same choices. <gasps> Oh uh, no, we have to. It's gonna take for fucking ever. Get the MSG candle. Oh. <laughs> Just do. Okay. So, um, do we tell him we're cold? And then he's like, I can warm you up. <laughs> or you just tell the truth. He 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 liked us being forthcoming uh, before. Cold? Uh, can can we save or something? I'm so sorry. I didn't. I just got a little cold. I thought this might warm me up. It's good, close. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little close? <gasps> <laughs> Everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking what you're doing to cook. I should be home studying. What? We run out the door. We stop ourselves. Hmm. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. We should take things slow. Dream sequence. <laughs> it's, it's fucking wild. <laughs> okay, this is the last day. A new ingredient. Some jurisdiction isn't even legal, but if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? <laughs> it's cocaine. <laughs> he 
He said, George just played at breakfast. And your mouth waters at the- Wait, we slept at his place? I thought we rushed home. Oh my god, there's chicken. And biscuits. We're a perfect match. My cuisine in your taste buds, damn. He's such a... He's... He's such a way with words. Peg him. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, you'll say. It's good, but my mom made better. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you grow serious. Gonna, I'm, I know what you're going to say. I need to be better if I'm going to leave my mark on this world. Oh my god. And with the right business partner, I know I can fail. Business partner? Could he be talking about you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out of the door and get home. There's still one more day at school, I think. The University of Cooking School. Academy for learning that waits for no one. Or waits for no one. Oh my god, it's the heart. It's foreshadowing. What the fuck is this? Your best friend is there waiting for you. What the fuck? Why is Miriam in our room? Academy of <laughs> I, because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk about it, but I couldn't find you. I'm worried that something happened. It's okay, I was just... But now it turns out you're fine. You can finally get you up to speed in the saga of Miriam. Yeah, she's dating the robot. And the chicken is pretty good. She went on a date with a robot. With Clank. He asked me to go out with him. Clank is the risk monster of this entire show. You better keep the dials turned to polite and respectful, I'm not that kind of a girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah sure, I can get to know the little metallic guy. Long story sh short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but Finn quickly spiraled out of control. Did you say skydiving as if it's a typical first day to go on, on with a talking pressure cooker? <laughs> and I'm not really sure what we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story, however, bottling up details of your own might. Night is just too much to bear. <laughs> I went I went on a day too, back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. That's pretty extreme. <laughs> you you what? <laughs> Nothing happened but emotional connection. Wowzers. Wowzers. Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. Oh, there we have the them two. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, F though he himself might not grasp quite grasp the fact, because you know he's Pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's great! I'll order you up one right away. I have my my swirly with sprinkles, please. Hey, sprinkles is a dog and a treat. You can get your swirly dip too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at this school. <laughs> There's that horse in Colonel Sanders' right to school. Who would you dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful cre creature? You've got some nerve, Sobi Chan. Suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words and I won't have it. You clench your f fist with the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you win some pain. Doesn't look like you can go cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. Colonel Sander arrives. As it appears. <laughs> Things are close to boiling over. N a naturally intuitive person he senses that something might be going on. Is everyone exciting for the final day of school? Sogechen, how's the hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting for him by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Holy shit. I'm getting pissed roasted. with Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? <laughs> but what was the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say. That's a lot of words to say. It was bland. Excuse me, Sogi Chan. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. <laughs> Maybe you should tell me more about the faults as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine arts of food. 
See you inside, Sorry, Chen. No. It's slipping away for her fingers. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who, who she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. Attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley. You take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's that book. It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It wouldn't appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. Grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it weren't really powerful? Yeah, that's a solid point. I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open up to a page covered with arcane warnings. Only Cast only in case of extreme emergency. It says around the edges of the page. page. I could use the spell here that says it will re erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it will probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. <laughs> That's way too drastic. <laughs> Couldn't you do something else like anything? Like not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a swing around your f string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate time calls for des des desperate measures. Got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you. Pretty good excuse to try it out. Now we remember what the, the spork monster told us. We shouldn't d dabble in the dark arts. Sprinkles are already waiting for the students to arrive. It's clear voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know I feel something of a dog at the moment coming home, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. So should we give him a snack? I think we should give him a snack. We should just prep some homework from last man and he's got to turn in. <laughs> Sprinkle immediately goes for it and gobbles the sheet of paper like it's a piece of fresh chicken rawhide. Um, I apologize for the outburst. I know it seems cliche, but not much in this world satisfies like ungraded work. My, 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 so much. Were you studying something with sim cinnamon? <laughs> Must have been sitting on a lecture series around the art of cake baking. How insightful. She actually brings some important points. Thank you, so much for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see. But before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over the class. Sprinkles interrupted by the worst at Sparks calling from the back room. I told you to save it after class. <laughs> do, do. do you think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank prepared to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank language of mechanical noises. Where? But no, you have to show off your cool friends, Jeff and Joe, J and J. Watch us form a triangle in mid-air as we <laughs> descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. Beware. Uh. Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or a cliff for all I care. Said Beep. Clank begins to shudder. Steam pours out of the gaps in his panels. And then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Beep. Zzz. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that clank. Oh my god, it looks like shit. Clank burps on a completely fried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels with feet, he's not entirely sure where it came from. It seems deep fried. Well, in terms of deep fr fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. It's not like a loud public breakup to cast Paul, cast the ball out on the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. We mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showed on challenge exam. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approach. See you on the arena. I am horrible at remem remembering stuff, so I'll probably fail and then we'll lose the code now forever. Before you can think uh, about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful song in the middle of the laptop. Hey Miriam, uh. are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spinning several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that, in front of everyone? That tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know this breakup is no joke. Even if the social station is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm sure gonna say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're gonna cruise through this final test and hit the carpool into Success City. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through the short banks, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not going to settle up on 
Golden Elsem the Stallion and ride off into the sunset without me? Um, you probably will, though, if you get the opportunity. Of course not. Well, maybe, sort of, but I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it. I'm a ranch big enough for both of us. And whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow or this whole year or what, you're a special person. You shouldn't settle for the first someone to show a little interest in you. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes tears down from her cheeks. I should really review my ideas for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. I bet the profession, Professor Dog is going to love it if you guys can bring it here. Sorry for the noises, it's a lot of talking. While you were prep talking, Miriam, you completed, completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before the exam. You've decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. It is the location of your final challenge a test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent, and a chance to beat the pants of Van Van, the supposed man man, and his evil counterpart, Ashley. As plans you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working. Soggy Chan's famous chicken pot pie. With the practicing for months making this dish comes sec second nature to you and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is inter inter interrupted by Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Soggy Chan, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, I just taken it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake and the smell slowly f filling the space around mm. me. Visualizing her? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You usually hap happily share your food with anyone that's hungry. But the last time you s let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires. But that decision gets hard to stick when the oven timer goes off behind it. I we fess up. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can smell pot pie from 400 yards. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how far that is, but it's pretty far, I think. It's oddly specific distance, but you expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. No, knew it was a pot pie from just the smell, not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Ah no, because smell was made with a heaping helping of TLC. I probably starts burning any second if you don't pull it out. No, not the pot pie. Wow! Alright, that's look really good. <laughs> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I always love country cooking, I could eat this all day. He's crying. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkle lays down the ground. Oh my god, that's intense music. There are no rules. That is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. Decide the mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that will push you over the edge of the Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepping wide, widely, wildly elaborate dishes, pretty usual over the top shelves. Miriam has a giant magne magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big going small. Colonel Sandler seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. This original fried chicken. Wait, did you, someone join the Discord? Yes, I am back, Siggy. Hey, Mac, you're just in time for the final showdown of it. Oh my goodness. Do you, do you need to be caught up? Uh, I've been like set, sort of watching the stream on oh, the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. We're in the final cooking battle. battle. The intensity. Full 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness. Let me go a little bit. Yeah, we just practice a pot pie. Yeah. 10 out of 10 with frenzy of action. Everyone's going out. I think he's gonna steal our call slot. That's my prediction. What the hell? The ones we share with him. Prepare the food now, this is getting serious. Colonel Sander Bevis is chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash! Miriam furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, bester, blaster. Jesus. <laughs> Van Van flexes his pectorials as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> oh my god. Ashley scoops the pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Even Clan gets on it. Well, you can talk. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did <laughs> Clan <Clank> learn? <laughs> <laughs> it's the singularity as was foretold. We mustn't let it happen. Or the appliances <laughs> rising will take rising. Self destruct. <laughs> Fanman quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out of the back door of the arena. What the hell? He saved our asses. He did save us. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book on your own, and you're desperate not to see your win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Nah. We, we're listening the to the hard way. We're listening to the sport monster. We, who, who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do this the hard way. Colonel sends a seed that you've chosen to win in your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from a pos Oh my god! Oh yeah! He believes in us. We, oh, he believes in us. He cannot fail now. Me and Nelson. and I've always believed in you, Sogachan, since we were little kids. Because I'm your best friend forever. Wow. You don't wow. notice Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're cheering, who's cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. That's sweet, but... Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling room. What? Uh -huh. It's the secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she even <laughs> get eye of you? The boiling pot explodes, <laughs> sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling it up in a dark cloud of chickens and congeals before your very eyes. No! No! It is I, Steve the Spork Monster. No! Steve. Wait, what happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Borko had the day off, but you are con but you have conjured up Steve, and I hate to battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty alright. Oh, hey. oh, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You're crazy, kids, and your <laughs> culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? <laughs> oh, he's so sad. <laughs> Steve the Spork wants to know this is that you got, got the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. Oh, let me share my screen again, actually. I'm not. You are. You are. Oh, it's, I still am. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you know this is the grimoire. I see what you're up to. Chris crossed some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? Ah, you guessed it, sorta. You're here. Would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salt water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. <laughs> you know, when I was just a little spork pup back in my old country, you can feel a spork monster winding up a very, very long and involved story. Don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand, but it's kind of like that time in Monster School that I've fallen asleep during scare tactics in class and then I woke up. You toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. <laughs> Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck. Thank you. Give up and drop out. Summon extra power. Of course. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange. As culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is oh my, goodness. my hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for it. Yes, so you run. You're the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You've interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. Actually, I don't remember how the, the student died. Uh, he ate the octopus dish. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power you can do anything. Except turn back time, which would be super useful because you were powering up your chicken pot pie to overcook in the oven and can't be served. What? But don't worry, there's so good chance. You may have served some setbacks, but all is not lost. I'm impressed with your fortitude. Probably on Sanders decides that you've earned his support. I've been watching you today. I'm just saying, truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. Oh my god, he's helping us, Colbin. Yep. He stands there right beside us. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. Wow, this is so deep. What a guy. This is deep. <laughs> Colonel Sander unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicate fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. 
Oh my goodness. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their in individual efforts. Are you suggesting if you combine forces we can form the perfect food union? Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. Seems we're missing some students. Pop? Clank? From off screen, you heard a pure and innocent giggle that only comes from one student. <laughs> I'm flying. Sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hooked by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now! Let me guess, did Fanfan have something to do with this? When did someone ask for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. <laughs> so it looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs, may I be excused? Sure. Pop made edibles. Nah, Pop got fucked up. <laughs> Pop made edibles. <laughs> I don't think Pop made anything edible. <laughs> I don't think he got to cook. <laughs> Lamb cook. You kids and your pranks. I must say it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks, pranks, clank. Where did the pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature war beep or other onomatopoeia. Well, he's been unplugged. But that's not. Yeah, he's been fucking terminated. Because <laughs> <laughs> he reached the singularity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somehow he must gotten unplugged, I guess. But to figure it out later. At least only four remaining students. Please collect your final project. Yeah, it's been a long. It has been a long semester of three total days, <laughs> three whole days long. Yeah. But after days of hard work, the time has come to, for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made <laughs> ten the udon noodles and savory soup. <laughs> I mean, that's very cute. My word, oh my goodness. So delicate. Is that a teeny tiny na Naruto Maki? I spy afloat this itsy bitsy ball. Yes, chef. <laughs> Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. <laughs> 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 yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just just the tip of his pink doctum to dip in the bowl. He's gonna say it's warm. Oh, never mind. Sublime. Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. And in the flesh, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that too much. It's less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Rarely do I taste the dish with, dish with, uh, with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam is over George. She gives you a hug hug. A huge hug. Oh, I need a hug hug. Naruto. Nah, Van Van would give a hug hug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Sogi Chen, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now describe your dish. I made uni over smooth egg custard in an ex uni urchin shell topped with caviar. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my goodness. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkle leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't <laughs> get his nose close on account of all the, sp the spikes. <laughs> he begins to paw at it erratically, causing the crystal to slosh around. Woof woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Grrr. <laughs> Bit pretentious. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in tongue first, but he can't get, can't get past the needles. He reels back his tongue as his pokes and prod. Yowch! No, he's sabotaging us. Yow! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. I can't eat it. It keeps poking my tongue. <laughs> this <laughs> diff qualified. <laughs> diff qualified. <laughs> A stunning turn of events. We would have thought that serving a food in a bowl made of needles would make it difficult to eat. Not me. <laughs> Holy shit, we're roasting the shit out of him. The check that Van Van goes not does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour. For glamour. <laughs> Don't diff count simplicity. <laughs> Don't diff count the simplicity. This is the last you. This is the last time you've heard of me. Before forcing this is literally to, a JoJo character. Yeah, before forcing us to enter his swollen tongue from for another moment, Sprinkles gracious, graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps my agitated tongue. 
Rip, rip fan fan, that's true. Okay. Rip. He tried, you know. Actually, it's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue. 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 And connected by sugar glass. Oh, it looks cool. That actually looks does, cool. doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful, however. I'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be displayed, please. But then it's not food! <laughs> Don't eat the food at the cooking school. <laughs> get get toast in your ears or something, sogi -chan. I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, however, there's a cooking competition at the cooking school. <laughs> Here, I made you food. Don't eat the food. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, that's yeah. what I was typing. <laughs> yeah, which is why I cooked it and I did an extremely good job, cook good job cooking it too. I didn't think... I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. <laughs> if I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. <laughs> Sprinkle is not happy. Sprinkle was not impressed. I mean, he is stern, but fair. <laughs> I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard, you might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, <laughs> it cannot be judged, you are disqualified. <laughs> Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you! <laughs> wow, that's really rude. Why is she so thick? I have no clue. I mean, I don't think we've seen this angle that often. <laughs> you saw it at like the beginning. And with that, it doesn't <laughs> matter, Ilse, she's trash anyway. She's trying to take away Colonel Sander from us. Yeah, exactly. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. Exactly, Snake. Two faced Snake. This isn't the last time you've heard of me either. I mean, she did use her, like, too shallow spatula or whatever. That's true. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. <laughs> you and Colonel Sanders in the finals. Cook, cook, snap up together. Yeah, no, no. She yeah, yeah, Ilsa, Ilsa. The entire point is is uh, because it makes her feel more important she to add more letters. She fucked up her own name. Two chefs! What beginners involve delicious mac and cheese has become something else. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sniffing an eye in the ball. Uh oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal tremble. <laughs> oh no, I can't, please don't. Yo, what do you mean, I can't? Your fucking characters are all named like that. It's like fucking Streff. Wanna know how I can't spelled one of the wizards in our campaign? Go on. Okay, no, I missed. Oh one. my goodness. I yeah, well, I play, I play Grog. I love Grog. What was it again? I can't enlighten me. <laughs> I ne I lit. Oh, with the tea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bruh, I come out here with complicated names. Meanwhile, I'm a big orc named Grog. Strerf. 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 No, those are way too little uh, syllables. No, not syllables. I mean, uh, fuck. I only know the Dutch word. Consonants? Or consonants, uh, the not A. a uh, not vowels? Uh, yes. Not vowels. Damn, I. Okay, I actually did not know that. Eels. <laughs> wow, Eels, okay. Fucking roasting yourself. Okay. All right, sorry. Back to the competition. Just when I fucked yes. everything in this kitchen, you gave me this thing <laughs> and completely blow me away. In my 49 years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> you pass. You pass. You pass. You pass. You and, pass, you pass you and you get a pass. Everyone gathers around and partakes in the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to be. He transcended this reality into another dimension. You win! Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even Van Van and Ashley are drawn back by its magnetic fragrance. 
when they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but not. Come on, how could it be better than this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna cosplay Van Van or the dog. <laughs> what would he mean? <laughs> or Colonel Sanders? <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Colonel Sanders for a fucking carnival is actually. Carnival crazy. would be fire. Because then people would actually recognize it. Oh my god, there's a prom. Everyone's good. The students return with a less assignment. Do, Do we, we get, get new outfits? Or? That's the real question. The cafeteria has been complete. complete I, I'm pretty sure the colonel will have the same outfit. <laughs> Probably. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation events, compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena. The humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. <laughs> DJ Dog is in yeah, the DJ house. DJ Dog. U O O R U. Siggy does not do a good dog. Shut up. You can do the dog style. <laughs> sure, sure. Next time they pop up, I'll you do that. You knew that Sprinkles was master chef, but also world-renowned turn turntable is. Who says you can teach an old dog new tricks? Oh my god! They're oh, they actually have different outfits! Hey, yo, Van Van kinda skimping out here, holy shit. Jesus. Van Van and Ashley tell everyone they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. For a moment you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghost allowed at graduation. <laughs> it's clearly written in school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost, it was all a trick to, to, to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. And now everyone is together. It's a spork monster, you totally mellowed out. Everyone, this Party monster! <laughs> sure, I love a twink. <laughs> everyone, the spork monster is no more from here on out. I prefer that everyone refers to me by my new name. Party monster! Students try to finish what he had to say, but everyone is too wrapped up talking to Sporks. Spork sword and party monster. Deject student walks off. Spork guy. Maybe things didn't work out for me romantically, but she found love in the cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls across the floor at the bottom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who would command such an entrance? Oh, we both know who this is. Uh, it's Colonel Sanders. Oh, never mind. Oh, damn it. It's Pop. He arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the park, you see Perf perch up atop his dirty chef's head. A crown? Welcome back, Bob. You know, you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. He was the dean. <laughs> and we get a new wing off in the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor, such and such. <laughs> the music at the dance interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank who has arrived late to the dance. Now that I graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I'm Clank and I'm not of this earth. I'm actually from a faraway planet, planet in another dimension. What? What? <laughs> I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I learned the ways, ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am. Damn, girl boss Miriam. I like the little chef hat. Oh yeah, actually I didn't notice that. Real. It's really cute. I've begun to learn who I really am. It isn't time for me to devote my life figuring out who you are, Clank. Holy shit, you could fucking roast it. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear that she managed to surpass you in that regard. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sander arrives. Oh my god, they just wearing a shirt. Damn, he's just in a casual I outfit, what the hell? Classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he's come prepared to feed the entire class. Okay. He has come prepared to feed the entire class, however, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time it's a full meal. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a box meal. <laughs> Didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in history. Uh, in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? No, it's not the end. 
Since everyone feeds on the delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sander finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. It's time. Soggy chair. What are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know. Just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me? What are the qualities that you find expect to find in such, such a lucky person? On the top of my head, I don't know. A spicy muscle, a tidy goatee. And to a degree from the un oh, and a degree from the University of Cooking School, Academy of uh, Academy for Learning, just to name a few. <laughs> no way, you come. You really think that? <laughs> I honestly want them to. It's truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. She glided across the dance floor, hand in hand, going in the center. The future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100 franchise is running, I'll be ready to take a day off, and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Sorry Chan. How sweet, we'll work together and play together. Skull and stops dead in his tracks. Work together. Well, um, I think this is something I'll need to do by myself. <sighs> but who will help you run the restaurants? I don't believe, I don't believe I need help. Holy shit. Decide based on your time at school. Yeah. Do you really think running a restaurant is the best path forward? Yeah, look at that fucking look of disapproval. It's actually. Oh good. no. It's, could it be? We found lo a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sam's respect as a chef. Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing with him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? I, I suppose I could roll and roll at a pastry school. Oh my dear, sorry, Jim. I'm sure you'll find your place eventually. Fill the game, yeah, I think so. Well, we, it isn't finished yet, but it looks like it. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. It could have been better, yeah. <laughs> so, so where did you fuck up? <laughs> Is it because of the quiz? I, thi I think, no, I think it was the, the cooking. Oh, you were gone, then. It was like a cooking. <laughs> No, 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 Piggy, go, 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 Ilsa, the, the ending. No, we did that at the beginning. Yeah, I know, I can change it. Oh my god. I, I don't get why it's so fucking loud. What, 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 what do you want to... Oh, wait, is there, is, did uh, Akam already make the clip? Uh, which clip? Oh, the I made a. I was <laughs> working on the clip. So. <laughs> is it the is it the one where like we instantly uh, game overed? Oh yeah, I can I can show the clip. Hold up. Um, let's exit this. I'll need to. No, it's there's another one. There was another one at the beginning. Did Ocam already clip it? Or. Uh... No 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 we we no 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 the the first one the first first one that we fucked up. Like, uh, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. starting option where you didn't even go to, uh, to, uh, to the school. We slept through yeah, the yeah, semester. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But did, but is it already clipped? Cause I, no, I, no, no one's clipped it. No one's okay, clipped I, it. I, I, I just clicked the clip button so we can clip it together, I guess. Wait. But, it, it, but there's no way you can clip it like when it was like a, a, so long ago, right? No, but I, I clipped it, uh, I clipped it immediately. I just didn't oh. crop it. Uh, wait, let me, let me check. How do I fucking... Oh, You've just geez. added a browser source. Why, can, why doesn't it work? Oh, I, I think I'm using the wrong one. Hold up. I should also probably do this differently. But I'll just do window capture. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh, yeah, you did. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, you need to... to you need to <laughs> go... Huh? Yeah. No, no, you need to... If you if you unfull screen, oh uh, yeah, you can like extend the 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 clip with the blue thing. Yeah, but I think this it was already. Yeah, I probably should. Right? You sleep softly. It's the morning sun. Away. Yeah, but I feel like we should see the full thing, though. No? Look to the window of your smallest apartment. I looked it up. It takes <sighs> I mean, it wasn't that long. So if we speed run it, it might be. Uh, now we, we will speed run okay. it. Okay. We could stay in the moment. Forever. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. 
first day of cute culinary school. Culinary. Culinary school is no time to sleep. Snapping the you just left you to school <laughs> Oh you're already <laughs> done with the game! Opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh. Uh, it's done! Oh, good game. stream. Alright, end, end good stream. stream. It's over. Good stream. Wait, what, what happens if I just give up? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the entire game. <laughs> good game, money what? well spent. Okay, I mean it was free, but... I think that's contender for joke. I think that's contender <laughs> for joke. Hey, what's a good start? The first day of... I think like around here. Or should I make it longer? Look to the window if you're small. What do you think, Robin? Robin? Oh. Uh. I don't. For me, it's frozen right now. Yeah, I probably should, right? Oh, yeah, it's because. No, I mean, so how. Uh, the morning sun. How far ago I should uh, put it? Like, uh, I like around speaking? where you start speaking, the like right before the clock goes. Right before the clock goes. Or you could wait for now. Okay, it could stay in the moment. Right, there we go. I think that's good. What well, what should I call it? Just call it like uh, oh, fuck it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> speed run any percent. Yeah, I like Akam's. I like Akam's uh, suggestion. I can feature it. Epic. Oh, it's still making it. All right. Um, and I think I'm gonna end the stream uh, at that. So for all the five viewers, um, let me see. So um, we can we can go through the through the schedule a little bit for people. Yeah. Um, so after this, there will be custom five v fives by the lossy. Uh, yep. There's a challenge run tomorrow. Kingdom Rush. Mox really is into uh, tower defense games. <laughs> I know. <it> <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have uh, Valorant Feller tournament. Uh, ooh, a Celeste race, and quite late in the evening. And then on Friday, there's still a lot of space open, so maybe some people can stream there. So it's coffee stream with Steven, uh, which uh, we might get some Pokemon packs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Open on stream, and we'll see about that. And then we're going to have some dumb debates. I think that was planned. And FTL Gaming, Wingman, Lethal Company, which is probably funny, followed up by Risk of Rain. <laughs> yeah. And then... We have the fucking bug stream on Monday. Best Which stream. Really hype. Best stream. And then Zephyr board versus DSEA board. Pokemon Sacred Gold and the closing ceremony. All right. Well, that's it. Well, I wish the league committee some good uh, good luck with their stream. And then thanks everyone for watching.